What's poppin' warriors? It's Christian Othick at Honey Bunch, here for Munch with Honey Bunch, and the cereal that we're gonna be eating today is Honey Bunches of Oats, which is not my nickname. Please don't call me that in the hallways, thank you. But I'm joined by Zoe Fisher, member of the ladies cross country team. And what do you think of Honey Bunches of Oats, Zoe? I really like it. It actually gets me prepared for cross country. Like it's a good, it's a good source of protein. That's so. like commonly your meal yeah. for meat? Yeah. All right, and um, what's your favorite part of it? I don't know, it has to probably be just like the granola in it. The granola is really nice. And the little crunches. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get this first pour in. All right, now let's get the first bite. All right, so. What other extracurricular activities are you part of? I'm part of cross country, of course, track and field, um, radio, and WCTV. So. so for radio, what is your role there? I am the program director, so I'm basically in charge of like every department in radio, so all the podcasts, all the blogs, all of the I don't know, social media, so anything social media, that's typically me. So, yeah. So it's like they come to you for stuff generally? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. So you're important. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> All right, and how long have you been doing cross country? I've been doing cross country for six years now. Six. Yeah. Seven, six, seventh seven. Seventh grade. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. And, um,. What's your favorite memory throughout all your years of cross country? Oh Lord, it has to be probably when I broke 22 minutes in the three mile. I got 2150. So yeah, that's, that's obviously like really good in cross country yes, terms. Yeah, pretty right. good. How were you feeling after breaking? Oh that? my gosh. Okay, well I was incredibly tired. I just kind of laid on the ground and I was like, like I was just out of it. And then somebody came up to me and told me they were like, you got 2150, and I was like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah. All right, what's your training routine for a cross country like? Okay, so every Monday we have a long run. Tuesdays and Thursdays we will have uh, workouts, which sometimes it can be challenging, sometimes it'll be a little easier, it depends on which week it is. Um, and then Wednesdays we have like, Wednesdays and Fridays we have cool down days, so. All right, and uh, do you think it's something that the average Joe can handle or no, definitely not? Okay, you can do it, but it depends, it, it's all like on if you're good or not. Like, you can probably do it, but it's just, it, it varies, it varies. So it's also more of like a not giving up thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Me, you have to be mentally there instead I, of physically. I could not do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> before a meet, what's one artist that is always in your headphones? It has to be J. Cole. J. Cole. And yes. what's your favorite song? From J. Motivate. Cole? Motivate. Yes. All right. You like Middle Child too? Yeah, so, I do. All right. And here's the stinger, the last question. How do you feel about being able to graduate in Lucas Oil Stadium rather than Banker's Life? Well, I, I kind of wanted to graduate, graduate in Banker's Life, but then I heard that we're graduating Lucas Oil and I was actually a little bit more happy. Yeah. So, it, I don't know, it just, like they say, tradition <laughs> never graduates. Yeah. So. Because if it was me, I would rather, I don't know, it would be interesting to be in Lucas Oil, mm -hmm. but. Um, I heard they might continue Lucas Oil after, but yeah. it doesn't matter, I was, I'm graduating, so yeah. it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Zoe, for participating. That's going to do it for this episode of Much with Honey Bunch. Have a day, everyone.